buy the sandwich first. Kristen said to me, Uncle, I said, take a piece of the sandwich. And I said, no, man, you eat. And she bite the sandwich and then push the sandwich over to me in the driver's side and I have to bite it, bite the sandwich from her. And I wanted to take her to the doctor, but taking her to the doctor wasn't enough because I know she was going to go back out there anyways. And I take her home. And from right there, Christine has been part of my home. She didn't die from COVID. She died from the Crohn, the Crohn disease in her stomach. And one thing I realized is that Christine has changed people's life around the world. More and more persons know me because of Christine. They know who Girlie was, but you know, Girlie was there, Mr. Handsome was there, but they know me because of what I was doing and to how I highlighted Christine. I didn't put Christine on my life for to show off her. I put Christine on my life to make people aware of what it is to have a person with mental health and to deal with them. Christine was not an easy person to deal with. Christine would have cursed me. Christine would have threatened me that she's going to kill me. Christine, if I don't give Christine a cigarette, Christine would have said, look, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to burn down this house with you if you don't give me that cigarette. But I know, Christine would have cursed me in 10 minutes and by the next three minutes, Christine said, Uncle Lassell, Uncle. you guys, if, if all of you guys out there is pretending to love my sister, then trust me, you, are, you guys are a big pretender. Christine was loved. People from Africa, people from all over the world has called me for Christine. Tell me how much they love her, how much they miss her. Christine being joy. Young people call me and say, Mr. Hanson, Christine make me laugh. I don't care how much teeth Christine did have in her mouth. I don't care how Christine did look. If Christine eating something and she said, Uncle, I sell you one piece and she bite it and give it to me, I, I still would have eaten it. Because she's my sister. Because I know her when she was in her right mind. I know Christine when Christine was a boss of her. My mother has seven of us. And Christine, you said, if you move, Christine was one of the most generous ones. Christine, fiercely speak her mind. The fight, that was Christine. Anything to do with war, we'd go to Christine and say, Christine, I'll, I'll go out the chore, you the girl. And Christine said, come, she not care of me. That would have been Christine. And let me tell you something when you guys don't know. Christine loved by her family. Christine loved by her kids. Christine was that person. And when Christine, yesterday, when Christine looked at me and she said, Uncle Lassell, I'm tired. He said, Era the King, come for me. Era the King, come in for me. And I, I wanted to go with Era the King. He said, Uncle Lassell, we love you and you do a lot. I know you. I know you make me want to go. I'm just tired. She said the pain is killing. She said, Uncle, I said, we can't take the pain. We can't take the pain. People, I know how hard it is, and you guys know how hard it is to even consider to bury a loved one. Whatever little I was saving, whatever little I have, I exhausted over the period of time. For my situation was going on, I exhaust some stuff, and I have something. And to be honest, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn down a person who offer me something to help towards my sister. And let me explain to you. I have done it for other. I have begged for other person. I have begged for other person. I have never begged for myself. People always give me. And I have never called a person and to borrow from them. You know what I said to them? I put up a play or something on my page and I say, go subscribe to it. Or send me a donation for that. I have never begged personal for myself, but I beg for others. And this time around, I'm not going to lie, in this COVID time, I need all the help I can get because I want to put away my sister in style. She has eat good. She has wear clothes good. She has she have done some good things. She has slept in a good bed. I have never met my sister sleep in the cold from she come to my house. I have never met my sister go to bed hungry. And there's a song that my sister inspired me to learn. When I seen this song the first time on social media, there was a young man singing the song to an old lady. And I said, that song is fit enough for Christine. And I've been playing this song 
every day on my morning devotion. And Christine, may your soul rest in peace. You're going to miss around the world. Sunday coming, I'm doing lockdown with Mr. Handsome and Big Boy Part 2. And I'm going to put it up. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. You can laugh. Because I have to... I'm not going to make whatever I'm going through. This one is worse, but I'm not going to make whatever I'm going through. Just get me done. I'm going to continue my series of Big Boy Lockdown with Mr. Handsome and himself. And once I put it up, I don't have a cash app. I don't have a Zelle. But if you want one, I can I can borrow. I, I, I'm borrowing somebody who wants to use it. But I will tell you how to subscribe to get to paid for the little sitcom that I'm putting up for the COVID coming up. But this song, it means a lot to me. And I sing this song to Christine. I make a video singing this song to her. And it called, If Tomorrow Never Come. And I thank God that you could have, I could be able to sing this song for her during the time she was alive. Sometimes later, I lie awake and watch her sleep. She lost in peaceful dream, so I turned out the lights and let there in the dark. And the thought crosses my mind If I never wake in the morning Would she ever doubt The way I feel about her in my heart If tomorrow never comes Would you know how much I love her? Did I try in every way to show her every day that she's my only one? And when my time on earth has gone, she must face this world without me. It's the love I gave her in the past It's gonna be enough to last If tomorrow never comes Cause I lost loved ones in my life Who never knew how much I loved them And I live with that regret for my two feelings for them never were revealed. So I made a promise to myself to say each day how much you mean to me and to avoid the circumstance, for there's no second chance to show them how I feel. Whoa, 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 if tomorrow never comes, would you know how much I love you? Did I try in every way to show her every day that she's my only one? When my life on earth has gone And they must face this world without me Is the love I gave you in the past It's gonna be enough to last In case tomorrow never comes So tell that someone that you love just what you're thinking of If tomorrow never comes oh. I just want to let you guys know That the song that I sing If my tomorrow never come But it's just the flip side Christine tomorrow Christine today Never comes And always She always know We told her Love you Love you Christine And say love you Uncle Lassie the last thing Christine said to me was she wanted to talk to me 
that was yesterday when I came in. And I told her I was on the phone, just give me a few, come in the room and we can talk. And she said, give her a minute. And I didn't get the chance to hear what she had to say. I talked to her every day, but she wanted to talk to me. This one last time. Christine died in her son arm on her nephew. She was right there around the two of them when she passed away in the back of the van on our way to the hospital. I tried my best. I did everything that I could. Love-wise, that's number one. Clothes-wise, food-wise and shelter. I have done it for my sister. And if I have to do it all over again, I still would have done it. So to everyone, thank you for your deeply and your, your, your sincerely condolences that you send in to me. I even get, a, I, I even get somebody texting me and say to me, Mr. Handsome, I heard that your sister died. And may your soul rest in peace. That's what the person said to me. That's how much it's hard to lose your loved one. Thank you again. And looking forward to see you guys watching the lockdown with Big Boy and Mr. Handsome coming up this Sunday. And I'm not going to jump and do live on a regular, but I will inform you guys on when we are going to do the funeral, how we are going to do the funeral, because it knows it got to be virtual. And um, we will inform you guys on the, uh, every other thing that's coming up. Thank you so much. God bless you. And let's keep us in your prayer.